Nab TV travels to Nab C. Carterock in Bethesda, Maryland, where engineers research, test, and evaluate devices that measure radiation. We all have radiation around us, and a lot of people don't realize that. They hear the term and they get scared. And the reality is it's around everywhere you walk, there's what we call background radiation. Background radiation occurs naturally. It comes from the Earth and from space. The point is it's just background. It's been there forever. It always will be here, and we don't have to walk around with sensors to measure that. There are two basic types of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing. Non-ionizing radiation, like visible light, radio waves, and infrared, excites atoms, but does not damage them. Ionizing radiation is produced by radioactive materials or equipment like x-ray machines. It's powerful enough to remove electrons from atoms. Radiation comes in several different forms, and uh, it can either be alpha particles, uh, beta, or gamma radiation, or neutrons. Without getting complicated, you could basically break it down into those four major types. The element uranium always has 92 protons, but it can have different numbers of neutrons. Each one of those is called an isotope. Uranium isotopes are called radioactive because their nuclei are unstable and have excess energy that gets released as particles and ionizing radiation. The uranium-235 isotope provides the main fuel for nuclear reactors. On a ship or in a nuclear power plant or any place where you have taken uh, a nuclear fuel to generate power or energy, um, you have concentrated that source to make a useful product. In the case, we're talking about power or propulsion or, or electricity. Nuclear energy powers all U.S. Navy aircraft carriers and submarines. You basically have a, uh, a nuclear reactor like we do in 20% uh, of our electric power plants here on land. And uh, that nuclear reactor generates heat. That heat uh, boils water into steam. The steam is used to drive a, uh, a turbine and make the power. In a nuclear reactor, energy comes from a process called fission. Scientists create a controlled chain reaction where neutrons fly around and hit uranium nuclei, causing them to split. And that releases a lot of energy. Just one pound of highly enriched uranium can produce the same energy as a million gallons of gasoline. Now there's a tremendous amount of shielding around the reactor that protects people from the radiation that's just naturally present in the reactor. And when properly shielded, nothing gets out. And that's a good thing, because ionizing radiation can be harmful. Its energy can damage the cells in our body. Just to make sure they're not getting exposed, sailors wear a sensor called a dosimeter. A dosimeter is short for a dose meter. Basically, it's a meter that measures radiation dose. But this actually monitors the four different types of radiation, alpha, beta, gamma, and neutron. So you just easily clip on your body. Whoever is working around the radiation would have to wear this. These engineers also research, test, and evaluate meters that can scan for radiation on different surfaces. All of the devices need to be sensitive, accurate, and reliable. The goal is to keep sailors safe. We have a number of problems in this world in all different fields, and the engineers are the problem solvers. So the ability to be faced with a problem, figure out the best way to handle it, and then coming up with a solution and demonstrating that, that's satisfaction for me. To find out more about radiation and nuclear energy, check out labtvonline.org.